What's going on everybody? Ryan's Baseball Roundup. Today we're back with another video. Now that the lockout's over, we're going to look at all of the trades and free agent signings that have happened since the lockout happened, because there's been a lot of trades and signings going on. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit the like button if you enjoy these type of videos, and let's get straight into the video. Let's just start off with the biggest and most important trade of the whole offseason. Matt Olson from the A's to the Braves for Christian Pache and two other prospects. This was the most surprising trade by far because everyone thought Freddie Freeman was coming back to the Braves, but instead of signing him, they trade for Matt Olson. And then the A's, this wasn't too surprising because they already started a fire sale when they traded Chris, away Chris Bassett. But on the Braves side, I'm pretty confused because I think that they should have just signed Freddie Freeman and run it back because of how much Freddie Freeman means to the city of Atlanta. And Matt Olson's a good player, don't get me wrong. Him and Freddie Freeman are like pretty much on the same tier as a first baseman. Matt Olson is younger, but what from what Freddie Freeman means to the city of Atlanta, I think they should have kept him. And on the A side, you can definitely tell that they started a fire sale. First, they traded Chris Bassett. Now, Matt Olson. Matt Chapman and Sean Maniah are definitely probably going to be next. But for what this means to the whole MLB, now that Freddie Freeman is definitely not going to the Braves, it opens up a lot of doors for him because that was like the team that most people thought he was going to come back to. So now at this point, it's between the Dodgers and the Yankees, I think, which is definitely going to shake things up in the MLB. Uh, we also had Chris Bassett to the Mets. This was the first deal that the A's made after the lockout. I mean, now the Mets rotation is just stacked. You already had Max Scherzer, who they signed earlier in the offseason, Jacob deGrom. You already have Taiwan Walker and Carlos Carrasco. So at this point, really, like, Taiwan Walker is, like, what, like, your fifth starter? Because Chris Bassett, he, he made the all-star team last year with the A's. He's really good starter, and he's your number three starter. So right now, the Mets are looking scary. I think if the season started right now without any other signings, he would pro they would probably be my favorites in the National League. Because, I mean, they still got Lindor, Pete Alonso, Jeff McNeil. Because they were able to get... Chris Bassett without giving up any major league players. A lot of people thought they would have to give up like maybe a J.D. Davis, Dom Smith, Jeff McNeil, none of them. All they had to do was give up two prospects. And moving on to the next trade, uh, the, the Twins traded for Isaiah Carnefaleffa. Got Rangers got Mitch Garver. Um, this trade, um, it was a good trade for both sides, but as you can see moving on, um, Isaiah Carnefaleffa will then get traded again. Uh, I like what the Rangers did getting Mitch Garver. They needed a catcher because last year Jonah Heim and Jose Trevino weren't, weren't that good. Mitch Garver is a good power hitting catcher when he's healthy. For him, it's more about staying healthy because he gets injured quite often. I think the Rangers could be better this year than expected. They already got, um, got Corey Seager, Marcus Simeon, John Gray, Cole Calhoun. Uh, moving on to the next trade, we got... Josh Donaldson and Isaiah Connor Falefa from the Twins to the Yankees for Gary Sanchez and Gio Urshela to the Twins. So this is the second time Connor Falefa got traded. This trade was just overall confusing because, I mean, yeah, Josh Donaldson is a solid pickup for the Yankees, but he's pretty injury prone. And, I mean, I feel like with how old he is, he might need to, like, go in the DH slot every now and then. Because he's still good defensively, but it's just like he's 35 or 36 years old. And with the Yankees lineup, you already got uh, Giancarlo Stanton, who's injury prone, Aaron Judge, who's injury prone, and Luke Voigt, who doesn't play the best defense at first. He'll never get any at-bats at DH. Isaiah Connor Falefa, I think, is a good fit for New York, though, because he's a really good defender at shortstop. Um, he can really play like all over the infield. He already won a gold glove at third. He's very versatile, and he's a good defender. I mean, he's a below-average hitter, but I, um, I feel like for that Yankees lineup, they already got a lot of thump in the lineup with um, Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton, Luke Voigt, DJ LeMayu. I feel like it'll be a good spot to have a, a defense like that. Um, they didn't really have to, like, give up any prospects. So, like, I mean, they could still try to make a trade, but a lot of people thought they were going to get Matt Olsen. That's obviously not going to happen. Now that the Braves already got him, because I think I say Connor Falefa is an upgrade over Labor Torres defensively at short. Um, Gio Urshela was going to be the Yankees starting shortstop going into the season. And then on the Twins side, they got Gary Sanchez, which is kind of ironic because 
Gary Sanchez is probably like a worse version of Mitch Garver. He can hit, but he just like can't play defense for like much of anything. Um, it was pretty much time to go for Gary Sanchez on the Yankees. Yankees fans were getting tired of him. They were getting tired of the fact that he can't play defense. I mean, he's still one of the best power hitting catchers in the league. It's just like the last like one and a half years or two years or so. Like he hasn't been, he, the power hasn't been the same for him. He's been slumping. Gio Urshela, uh, I think that's a good pickup for the Twins. I'm just, this trade was overall confusing. I'm not sure if like either side, like they both get stuff they need, but it just like, feel like it overall doesn't really make sense. And then the last move we're looking at is Nelson Cruz on a one-year deal for $15 million to Nationals. This is pretty surprising to me because I feel like uh, Nelson Cruz sh- should go to a contending team, considering the fact that he's like around 40 years old. He's still got a lot of power, obviously. Um, I feel like it would also be like, just make sense as a fit for him to go to a contending team because he has more options this year because the DH is now in the National League. So he did go to a National League team in the Nationals. He had a decent contract for considering how old he is at $15 million. Um, I think probably, since I don't see the Nationals being contenders this year, I feel like he'll get flipped to a contending team uh, at the trade deadline this year, just like he did when last year when he went from the Twins to the Rays at the trade deadline. So that was my quick recap of all the signings and trades that happened over the past few days. I'll have another one coming out tomorrow to uh, discuss all the moves that I didn't get to discuss in today's video. Uh, So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Other than that, this has been Ryan's Baseball Round.